Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family. Um, just taking the time out for yourself to be able to give yourself that self-care self that you truly need. Being able to recharge when you, you know, when you've been using up all your energy and, you know, vibes towards others as well as out to the world protecting yourself those things are truly important that we help raise our vibrations in so many different ways so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line I um, would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just telling me about your empath gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is being very informative to you gives you good vibes um, that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today... My video, uh, my meditation for my video is called Akashic Records, uh, 963 Hertz, Manifest Your Soul's Purpose, Universe is Calling. That's crazy because it's like 963, you know, 99, and then my, my phone it had 98% and it was, uh, what was it, 98%? And it was 145 when I started doing that, so you know. Uh, and putting all the nines together that's a good thing um and my video today is twin flame 101 hey Ocus, when your life feels like all hell is breaking loose i mean it can be really crazy at times you know we're manifesting we're shifting you know we're, we're upgrading we're downloading you know all these different things are going on in our lives where you know the moon and the earth is you know going through these crazy shifts so it's like recharging our energy you know giving us extra energy there's you know you're you're starting to vibe a little bit more um going through these different sacred uh, synchronicities you know seeing a lot of things that you know you can talk about like yesterday i was talking with my soul sisters talking about gumbo and stuff like that and you know what i put in my stuff and then we started talking about joe's crab shack or juicy crab you know next thing you know i go pick up my daughter from work she's like mom i've been craving gumbo this and this and that because my daughter loves my gumbo that i make you know and it just you, it gives you that creole you know thing and it, it's just really crazy that i could just say something and all of a sudden it, it's just like all this and this and that but you know back to the subject i got kind of carried away there you know it just feels like you don't ever get a break you know you're going through all these different things you know you you, you healed on one certain set of things and then more stuff come out and then you're like ah dog you know when it's all about this situation i'm trying to make peace with or trying to forgive folks then there's more stuff you want to come out the woodworks what is it <laughs> why do i gotta keep going through this my hair my my life feels like the hell's about to break loose and it's just like when you know you're getting closer to your blessings whatever you're manifesting whatever you're working towards there'll be more people coming at you fussing at you doing little things just to pu push your buttons you know throwing you a bone when they snatching it right back you know all these things uh you know start vibing like you know your kids could be getting sick your car breaks down you know you got a bill that just came out the woodworks that you're like trying to figure out how you about to pay you know um not getting along with your family members or siblings or even significant others all these things are coming into play and it's just like everybody's you know having their their fair share of their little personal hell that they're going through but it's like we have to really realize you know these are the things we have to go through we're clearing out a lot of things that's been conditioned into us you know i said this on my my facebook oh yeah i forgot to tell y'all um i had a, a group um page on facebook if you're you're welcome to it you know it's called uh the hayoka spiritual journey um where i put video i put the videos that i have on here um, as well, you know, putting positive posts out, you know, they can even be funny posts, you know, just to uplift people or, you know, I'm telling the love bugs that are connected with me on Facebook, you know, show your talent. If you, you know, you write poems or, you know, you put your version of how you want 
on as an empath or as a light worker or anything like that I, I love for them to be able to express themselves you know because I know a few of the love bugs was asking you know Rosalind why don't you know why don't you do this where we have an open discussion and you know um being able to share the things that are going through you know because we're going through so many major shifts in life and you want to make sure like hey am I the only one going through this or you know maybe is there something I'm missing that I didn't know you know I want you to be able to express yourself in so many different ways it's just to be able to allow people to come out of their you know their comfort zone being able to express yourself in so many ways we got so many people are very outspoken they're very talented but there's a lot of times we get scared because we don't know how people are going to take us or you know what people are going to think or you know would they be interested you know i'm giving you know y'all that platform to be able to do that you know um just sending positive words out you know if you need a prayer chain we can do that you know if it's something that you're bringing forth that you know might affect us as individuals post that you know all these things so you know if you if you're interested in it please send me a friend request um you know i tell you know the rules is like you can post anything long it's not racial crude or obscene you know i don't want the group getting shut down for petty stuff so it's just like i send posts as many as many as I can you know I tried to do it yesterday because I was cleaning the house yesterday I thought I was gonna make videos but after I finished doing everything I was doing because our house was like a wreck after 4th of July there was dishes all over the place we we barbecued and all that stuff well you know my ex barbecued and I just slept because it was like my body felt like I was hit by a train because I was at work out and stuff I did the day before but you know being able to do that was truly a blessing to me you know I, I want to be able to have people share their thoughts you know if you you can look me up even on Facebook Messenger you know you don't have to post anything on the group page if you don't want to you can like you can share the pictures or you know whatever or you know even give your your you know your uh, opinion about the you know the post or you know do you feel it you feel like this resonates with you and all those things you know and I'm just allowing people to do that because there's so many of my love bugs that are so outspoken spoke so artistic articulate and talented I want you to be able to place those in there so it'll give you that chance to be able to come out come out of your shell you know being able to do, do those things because a lot of you know a lot of people are like Rosalind I wish I can do this you know like you do I'm like shoot I was scared to do this too you know but you know my mom always told me I was very outspoken you know my mom always said you the things that you do if you you know you applied yourself to do the positive things you'll be amazed what you can do when you like you doing with the negative so I'm just like yeah yeah mom all right but yeah we're going through our lives in um, experiences in these things you know it can feel like you're never getting a break but you have to understand you know once you go through all these clearing of you know past trauma things we still hold close to us that are very you know traumatic you know it's not meant for us to be carrying around things that occurred in our lives you know there's days that you know I felt like you know I felt really good like oh gosh thank God I'm going you know I'm, I'm letting go of these feelings and these situations even though it's hard to bear you know and knowing my life seems so real at times you know where it feels like I know I'm not going through this and I'm like yes the hell you are you went through it you know so there's days that I feel like you know this is not really my life you know things this happen and then you know my intuition is telling me you know even though you go through so much hell and it was hard for you to be able to let go of these things it's just letting you know you know your intuition is telling you you're gonna be okay you know instead of feeding into what the ego does you know the ego will tell you you know when you're heading towards stuff and you know people are not agreeing with the things that you want to do you have to do what makes you happy not others because you can't please everybody all the time if you are looking for happiness through other people's decisions for you you will be a messed up individual not tell anybody go with your heart go with your intuition yeah it might be scary as hell because you don't know where that road is taking you but if God and universe is re rearranging your life like this to let you see the possibilities that is going to push you forward you know I want to do that because it was like you know there's three or four people that said something about this and I've had a group page over open before you know and there was not a lot of people that was like engaging in it or whatever so I'm just trying to push out a mini post many you know positive you know vibes you know just to be able to get people to step out a little bit you want to share like you know uh, Indian stories or tribal stories or you know sent put up spiritual awakening pictures or you know give write a poem about that I want you to be able to do all that stuff so it's just like it's broadening the horizon you know trying to grow our community more where we have more people that like us like-minded you know that can be able to express themselves you know knowing that they are not alone you know 
get uncomfortable, get comfortable getting uncomfortable and pushing yourself out there. You know, that's what universe wanted me to do. So getting all these different things out, it's just been truly a blessing. And it's just like when our lives feel like they are falling apart, you know, you have to be able to look at it like, you know, if you did not go through all these different situations, you would have never knew how much you can apply yourself to be that strong person, being able to uh, apply yourself to give yourself that uplift when nobody else did it. You know, being able to support yourself when other people aren't cheering you on. You know, because there's not going to be a lot of people that are going to be happy for you. You know, there's sometimes you can be able to accomplish the most biggest things. And like, okay, that's nice. You know, but you have to know your spirit guides, your angels, you know, your loved ones that have passed. Everybody's cheering you on. The people that are supposed to be in your life is going to be cheering you on. Even sometimes you don't feel it. You know, you have to be able to do stuff like this for yourself and know that, you know, if these tragedies did not happen into your life, you would have never known what you were capable of achieving if you never went through these things. And that's how I have to look at it. If I'm not going to lose my damn mind, you know, I have to sit up here and say, you know, I went through this for a reason. This, my tragic situation, even though I, I got separated from my family and, you know, not really in touch with them, uh, it allowed me to see the strength in myself I wasn't able to see before. You know, being able to open up and tell my story to people that you know will open up their mind and their hearts well and know like damn if she really went through this situation and her father's in a public eye you know what can i apply to myself to heal you know and i had to go through this i didn't like i said before you know i always wanted to be able to heal the world in one kind of way i didn't know my personal family issues was gonna be that you know and it, i mean it, it's just like a blessing within a blessing you know at first it was very cursed you know it felt like a curse to me you know having to find out you know the truth even though it was always been there but I was always denied the truth you know my mom wanted to tell me but it was like a sore thumb and her husband's you know I you know um he he wanted everything to be you know that's what narcissists do you know they gotta have they gotta if they're gonna blame themselves as the victim or they want all the attention put on them if as long as it's not in a bad light they want to be able to make sure you you know you praise them and all that crap crazy crap but it's just like going through all these different things, you know, with the people that placed this upon me really hated me for that because they wanted my situation to break me when it didn't, you know, um, being able to do that, uh, was very, you know, really crazy to me, you know, experiencing the things that I experienced, you know, going through the things that I went through, you know, it really, you know, um, brought me, you know, a world of knowledge. You know, things that I wasn't aware of, things that, you know, I didn't um, know that was possible to go through and being able to help others along the way, being able to see the beauty within themselves when they weren't able to see it. You know, a lot of people always tell me, Rosalind, you know, you see, you really see me, you know, and that that's my gift. I was supposed to see beyond, you know, the surface, you know, being able to see the light that you carry inside, you know, when you, when you. Are feeling down you know it, it feels good for me to be able to tell somebody you know you can do anything you apply yourself to you have this powerful energy and it's not like I'm saying stuff that you know that's a lie I see you you know I try to give people that positive frame of mind you know try to put that positive vibe towards them because a lot of people don't want to be able to give you that recognition I know what that feels like for somebody not to give me that recognition that I truly deserved in my life you know um, being able to have my accomplishments of what I do, it might not be important to somebody else, but I feel like it's important to me because for me to go through so much, you know, and being able to know that this tragedy brought me to be humble, beyond, beyond blessed, you know, by every measure, you know, being able to help others see the light within themselves when they weren't able to see it, you know, it, it just really brought me, you know, a good vibe towards my way. And, you, you know, there's days, like I said before, that I used to cry and ask God, why did you allow me to have to go through these things? Why did I have to experience all these tragic things in my life? You know, I feel like I would never be able to heal, you know, never be able to forgive people. It's like the people that placed me in this situation, being able to look at them and be calm about it, when I had every reason to be enraged was truly a blessing to me because I had to let them know, you do not have that damn power over me. I promise you, you don't. You did before, but just me being able to know everything you did to me and not want to lay a hand on you, and that really took a lot. Because it's like, I ain't up to beating up old folks, but they almost had that shit coming. So, but going through that, you know, I can really see that, you know, 
everything is not what it seems. You know, you have to go through things to get to them. You know, you have to give yourself that time to heal and know that you shouldn't be a walking billboard for sadness. You shouldn't be a walking billboard for depression, anxiety, all those negative things that can keep you at a lower level that you, you don't deserve to be in. You know, and it, you have to be able to know that even though your your life might seem like all hell is breaking loose and things keep breaking down and, you know, things aren't fitting right, you lose your job, all these different things, there'll be a significant other, you know, at you talking about employment or having money issues. It's like everything is happening for a reason. A lot of times when it comes to, like, people that, you know, keep at you all the time, they're that's showing you that spotlight. Like, these are not the people that... Are supposed to be in your life but these are gonna be things not the fact is because you're trying to prove them wrong but it's just the situations that you're in that can be very toxic and uh, very tragic is gonna give you that uplift that momentum to push yourself through that like I, I'm not gonna keep going through this you know I'm not gonna keep experiencing this negative situation I'm, I'm not gonna allow these things to get to me because that's what darkness wants that's what the people that pray for your downfall wants they want to see you grovel. They want to see you sad. They want to see you crying because people, and it's a sad situation where people get off on stuff like that. And I'm around it, you know, where people pray for my downfall. They don't want me to get out of my situation. You know, there's people I've helped that tried so hard to leave me down with them because they felt like, oh, my life was so much better than theirs. I'm like, look, this is your journey. This is my journey. You know, I don't feel like nobody's life is better than the other one. Like I always said, my mom always brought me up you have the same respect for the janitor that you get the same respect for the ceo and that's i don't never see stuff like that i see people as human you know and that was things that i had to be able to learn from you know all these mistakes and these situations that has brought me so many tragedy tragedies has uplifted me in the most beautiful way even though there's times that i still fall short and cry you know tell god i'm tired of dealing with this i really am you know, I'm emotionally and mentally and spiritually broke down and I'm tired of experiencing this. You know, things, you know, keep getting thrown in my lap. People try to be hateful towards me, you know, even when, you know, I'm trying my best. You know, I hate that, <laughs> you know, but I have to keep, you know, not focus on that. I have to be able to focus myself on something that brings my frequency up. You know, people are going to be people. Hurt people hurt people. You know, when it comes to narcissism, narcissistic people. You know, when they can't control you anymore, like I've said before, if they can't control you, they will control how people see you. So it's just like when you're around people that show doubt, they throw salt on the things that you're going through. They're not being that support system that you really need, even though you really don't need it. It's always nice to know that you have family, you have friends, you have associates that, you know, want to see you, you know, elevate, want to cheer you on. But you have to understand there's a lot of people who are not going to want that for you. There are going to be a lot of people that want that for you, but there's a lot of people that don't want that for you, don't want to see you get at it because they feel like their life ain't going nowhere. It's just because they weren't able to achieve their dreams. They are not going to be able to see the dreams that you have for yourself. So you have to keep on applying yourself. And it's going to be a lot harder, especially when you see people are trying to throw monkey wrenches in your program to make sure you don't succeed. So that's going to have to make you work 10 times harder, even though you got... You know, you got spiritual guidance behind you, protecting you in every which way, shape, form, or fashion, because you might be worried, like, am I going to make this? But there are so many different signs where they will maneuver certain things in your life just for you to be able to see, hey, we got your back. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about them. <laughs> you keep focusing on you. You got to keep this one track mind. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Know you are truly blessed. Holly Fabian forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there playing for your better days. And I'm going to give a uh, post notification shout out to Miss Casey. Much love to you. And I hope you're having a blessed weekend. And Miss KK, much love to you as well. K dropping gems. My love bug as well. And I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.